Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, today we are going to show you how to set up the Galaxy S8. Now for many of you, you know the steps on how to set up an Android device or a Samsung device, but I'm just going to go through the steps, so for those of you not too sure on everything you should do, we'll get started, and for those of you who might not know some of the new features when you start up this process, how to do it. So first and foremost, uh, you do want a Wi-Fi connection when first setting up your smartphone. If you're at a carrier store, have them set up to the Wi-Fi. You want a fast internet connection because if you don't have a fast internet connection, you're going to be there for a long time or you won't get everything fully set up the way you should. So you're gonna hit start. And uh, I do not have a SIM card in here. So we're just gonna, again, connect to Wi-Fi. So we'll just connect right here and I'll put in my password. And now that I'm connecting, I'm going to go to the next part. And I'm going to agree to the terms and conditions so I can move forward. And then it's going to check if there's any day one software updates. Uh, as of mine, there isn't right now, but of course, this is a week before launch. So there might be some when uh, you get the phone. If it is, you want to get that because these are fixes that they have already found out between the phone from announcement to now. However, the other thing you want to keep in mind is this, is uh, you want to create a new account if you do not have a Gmail. You do need to make a Gmail account because this is the only way you're going to be able to download apps and use almost any of the services. So yes, you do need to create a Gmail account. If you don't have one, create one. And if you have one, then just sign in. And then you're going to put in your password. and then I'm signed in so now I'm going to be asked do you want to use all these services from Google I do use all of them uh, basically it'll back up my data through Wi-Fi um, and have everything I need it will have all location services like Google Maps and a lot of uh, apps that use your location use Google Maps so you're gonna want to do that improve your accuracy uh, on uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi scanning this you can actually turn off. It is part of our speed process. I believe in turning Bluetooth off, not Wi-Fi off. So we'll go over that later. And then help you improve services. Yeah, sure, I like to make it better so that we get better technology sooner than later. And then it's gonna tell me, look, so many devices you have. Do you wanna restore from one of them? I do not for this uh, demo purpose. So we will click do not restore. But of course, that's where you would restore and that though you only want to restore if you have a really strong Wi-Fi connection because for me I have over a hundred apps so that would be uh, that I use on average so that's going to take a long time and then you're going to have your different types of sign-in so let me go over them face recognition is not a reliable secure sign-in but it is a quick one it is super fast it's been around since Android uh, 4.0 or the Galaxy S3 so that's how long that's been around the fingerprint scanner is on the back, so you're gonna have your hand like this in order to do the fingerprint scanner. Great for right-handed, not so much for left-handed, so make sure you know that. Very easy to get to if you have a case. If you don't have a case, though, you might not wanna go with that one. However, my definite favorite is the iris scanner. Iris scanner is super quick. It's the most secure on the phone, 200% more secure than a fingerprint scanner because it can't be lifted as easily as a fingerprint can. And if someone's knocked out, you can't use get their iris scan as you can with their fingerprint. Now, also for the pin setup, uh, that's the standard ones you guys are used to. So that's creating a pin, uh, which is a number digits. Um, you have your pattern, which is like a, a pattern design that you can create, or a password with uh, numbers and letters. And I'm just going to hit no thank you because I'm not going to set that up right now, but that is what you'd want to do. It says, are you sure you don't want to secure your phone? Uh, we won't do that, but you obviously would want to for most of you. And then you're going to get into whatever carrier bloatware setup. Um, and honestly, these are pretty much worthless. Uh, I would never do any of them because they're not as good as what Samsung offers. So skip that entirely, all this kind of stuff. So yeah, just skip it all. Not worth it at all. So never do those. 
here is the Samsung account. So the Samsung account is important for these uh, different reasons. So first of all, you have Samsung Cloud, which backs up everything, including your apps, your uh, home screens. So if you want your home screens to transfer from one Samsung to another, this is what it would do it with. Bigsby, this is Samsung's new uh, feature, and you can only use it if you create a Samsung account. Samsung Themes, change and personalize your phone. Find your mobile, so if you ever uh, lose your phone, you can actually uh, wipe your data or find it. Samsung Pass is a really good one that I recommend. It makes it so you never have to remember all your passwords. You just use your iris scanner fingerprint, and it signs into your passwords that you have saved. Samsung Health, of course, staying fit, finish, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's a really good uh, tracker, though, especially if you're trying to lose weight like I am. I use this uh, for my fitness tracking. In my opinion, it's better than a lot of other ones out there. Uh, link sharing, this is huge. Link sharing will allow you to send videos and files over text message and uh, photo, uh, photos, videos, whatever you need to, over text message, Gmail, whatever you need. This is something that everyone should get a Samsung account simply for this. Forget everything else. This is the most important thing because it allows you to share big files very easily. That's the number one reason to get a Samsung account. Galaxy app, secure folder, um, all these things we've explained in other videos. We actually have a f uh, thing on secure folder. Samsung Pay, the last thing I will talk about is that n not many people know this, but you can use this in every single credit card machine basically in the world. Anywhere you can swipe a credit card, you can use Samsung Pay. And finally, the biggest uh, other thing is for tech support. If you are a first time Samsung user, this literally is your go to to a Samsung technician at any time of day. 24 hour tech support, uh, and uh, during the day, you actually get video chat support. They can take over your phone, they can fix any software issues. You want this. All right, so we're going to sign in. If you don't create an account, by the way, a tip for your Samsung account just sign uh, when you create an account create it with your Gmail and make it the same password I know you're not supposed to use the same password but that's way you'll remember it and won't forget like I don't know what the heck my Samsung account was this makes it a lot easier so we're gonna sign into it right now I'll say as long as I can remember it. Okay. And then you're going to get to the most important screen in this entire setup process. And that is Smart Switch. So Smart Switch is how you're going to want to restore your phone. I wouldn't use Samsung Cloud, particularly unless you have a really good internet connection. Again, the Smart Switch does is simply this. You plug this adapter on the bottom of this device. And then you plug in the USB cable or lightning cable from your old phone. So whether it be an iPhone, whether it be a Samsung, whether it be an Android, you plug it in there and it'll transfer over everything. So really simple and easy to use. You can use it on any of these devices and it's just great. It, it will transfer over pretty much everything from your phone to your old one. Your photos, your videos, your contacts, your uh, Wi-Fi connections, every single thing you would need it's on there, your notes, everything. So that is the last step. You transfer over everything, and this is the way you should transfer over from your old phone to your new phone. Not any cloud services, but this way because it is the most complete. All right, so the last stuff is, if you wanna make your screen bigger or a different size, uh, this is where the screen out layout comes in. You can see how big and small they can get. Uh, you can also secure have a secure folder that is to hide anything So if you don't want people seeing certain things on your phone, that's a secure folder and we do have a video on it and that's it so Once we're done with that our phone is now fully set up So it went a little bit longer in this video, but I did want to break down everything you would need to know for this device All right guys, hopefully you did like this video if you did please give a like thumbs up down below make sure to check out all of our other content on the channel as we have over 30 videos on the Galaxy SA. We have the most coverage on the Galaxy SA on YouTube. Compared it to every phone out there and really every video you want we have. If not, 
let me know which one you need. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy.